Hey, what is going on guys? It is Twerky Clerk here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you to what I believe is the newest and best way to get Liquid Divinium in Black Ops 3. So what you want to do is you want to kick off into a game of uh, Revelations. So this is obviously DLC 4, and you just want to start off by buying the Corruption Engine um, little test thing. And you do this because once you pay the $500, it puts you to $0, uh, points I should say. Once you complete it, you end up getting a thousand back. So that gives you enough money to buy a gobble gum and to buy a gun off the wall. And so this method, what you want to do is you want to continuously, once you get 500 points, you're just constantly buying the RK5 and the Shiva. Just make sure that, that you don't swap out the MR6 because you need to have that as your gun so that you don't get locked in having each gun, which is the RK5 and the Shiva. So the way that I do this is, I pretty much use gobble gums as well as this method because I like to have Percoholic perc because it's a bit of an insurance policy, but even though you've completed the insurance engine, once you get 2500 points, you can teleport to Narc the Run Toten, buy Juggernog if you want, and Quick Revivers here too if you're in it solo. So the main gobble gums that I actually use are Percoholic and Immolation Liquidation, uh, the one that spawns in a death machine because that absolutely tears up. And the reason why I have the Immolation Liquidation, that's the one that uh, gives you three fire sales, is so that I can get a better gun, so that when the um, special round happens with the Parasites, I don't actually get killed, because sometimes they can be kind of tough when you have pretty bad weapons. So using this method, it takes roughly about four to six minutes to get a Liquid Divinium. Now this is a lot faster than other methods that I've seen, which is basically on Durazendra, you constantly just buy gobble gums until it becomes even more pricey. And... Sometimes I don't get the gobble gum, uh, liquid divinium, I should say, until around eight or nine or so. And on mine, I get to round six in six minutes. Now you can actually do this a lot quicker if you spend the money a lot more. And this is also a good way to get some experience points. Like as you can see, I got the time attack because it was under five minutes. So if you keep doing this, I'd say eight minutes because you get the close application time getting back into the game adds about an extra two minutes, I'd say. So if you keep doing this, you'll get a lot of Liquid Divinions in no time. I think in an hour I got 12 or 14 or so. So this is a lot quicker than other method methods, I believe. Now you don't actually have to do this method solo. You can do it with a friend or multiple if you wish. I did it with one friend earlier, and because we were doing so well, we ended up doing the round 20 time attack, which is meant to be round 20 in 32 minutes. And I think we did round 20 in about 19 or so. Now that is significantly quicker than other, other ways that I've seen to do that challenge. And you're killing two birds with one stone because once we finish that game, because I was buying the RK5 and the Shiva the entire time, I ended up getting three or four gobble gums in about 20 minutes, so it was worked really well. And when you complete the time attack for round 20, I think it's either 10 or 20,000 experience points you get, so you get a really good experience grind out of this as well. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. This is Twerky Clerk. If you enjoyed this, please make sure to like, rate, comment, and subscribe if you want. And let me down in the comment section below if you have found a faster way, because I'd love to grind out these liquid divinions just as much as you guys do. I'll thank you guys so much for watching again, and have a great day.